Hello everyone, this is Matthew 12, differential equations. The subject is variation of parameters. We start with the introduction. So variation of parameters is a method to find a particular solution of a non-homogeneous differential equation. I recall here the method of undetermined coefficients that we used for the same purpose. In this method, we first find the complementary solution to the system, which is the linear combination of fundamental set of solutions. And in here, we replace the constants with some unknown functions. And our goal is to determine those unknown functions. And I'm going to explain how it works in a minute. But well, before, let me mention here the names of two important mathematicians. This method, the variation of parameters, was introduced in the 18th century by Leonard Euler. And the final form was given by Joseph Louis Lagrange. Let's get into details. We consider the nth order linear differential equation with the non homogeneous term G where it is continuous. Assume that a fundamental set of solutions has been given to us. Since the differential equation we consider is of order n, this set consists of n fundamental solutions. And let's label these functions as y1, y2, and yn. And as mentioned earlier in the introduction part, suppose that the particular solution capital Y is given by the sum of the fundamental solutions y1 up to yn multiplied by some unknown functions u1 up to un respectively and our goal is to determine these u functions and to do it of course first we have to consider we have to find out all orders of derivatives of capital y and then we will substitute these derivatives into the non-homogeneous differential equation over here Let's start with the first derivative of capital Y, which can be obtained by applying the product rule for derivatives. Next, we compute the second derivative of capital Y. And in order to simplify the computations, we make an assumption such that the sum that appears on the right hand side of Y prime is equal to zero. And to find the higher derivatives of capital Y, we require a similar condition that is given here. And then we obtain a formula for the derivatives of capital Y up to order n minus 1. Differentiating the n minus first derivative of capital Y, we get the nth derivative of Y given by this expression. We substitute all the derivatives we found into the non homogeneous differential equation and we obtain such an expression for all n. It means that we end up with a system of n equations to figure out the functions u1 up to un. The system can be solved by using Kramer's rule. And afterwards, the terms uk primes are given by a quotient involving the function g, the Ronskian, and w sub k's. And w sub k's are the determinants obtained by replacing the kth column of the Ronskian with the vector 0, 0, 1. 
I will explain it in details in the example. And to figure out UKs, we simply integrate UK primes. Therefore, a particular solution, capital Y, which is the sum of the product of YKs with UKs, is given by the formula here. Here was an example which shows how to find a particular solution to a third order linear differential equation with the non homogeneous term G equals e to the 2t. And suppose that we are already given the fundamental set of solutions. As a remark, one can obtain these solutions using the characteristic equation for the associated homogeneous equation. Then a particular solution of the ordinary differential equation is given by the sum of three terms, where the integral expression is nothing but the function uk we are looking for. One can show that the Ronsky and other fundamental solutions is equal to 4 times e to the t. Remember how we construct this Ronsky. It's a 3 by 3 determinant in which we first locate the fundamental set of solutions to the first row. Then we write the first derivatives of these solutions to the second row and then the second derivatives to the third row. Now we need to find w1, w2, and w3 as well. To compute w1, we first write down the one skin of y1, y2, and y3, then replace the first column by the 0, 0, 1 vector and compute the corresponding determinant. w2 and w3 are given in a similar way. For w2, we replace the second column by the 0, 0, 1 vector. And for W3, we replace the third column by the vector 0, 0, 1 this time and compute the resulting determinant. Therefore, a particular solution can be written in this way and we compute the first integral using integration by parts. After computing the integrals and simplifying the terms, we obtain that the particular solution equals the 1 over 3 times e to the 2t. And as you may have realized, we can get the same result using the method of undetermined coefficients. And that's the end of the lecture.